Hey guys, welcome to Personal and Family Nutrition. I'm Professor Morano, and I'm sharing with you this brief video to help you navigate this course as it truly is a 100% online course and we have no face-to-face -face sessions. Sometimes it can be difficult for students to understand what is expected you know, uh, for the course, when are assignments due, what am I supposed to do with discussions, etc. So I'm going to explain everything to you in this video that you can refer to from time to time throughout the course in case you forget what is expected. So when you log into Blackboard and you click on the Personal and Family Nutrition course, you will come to this main page. This is the Welcome Start Here page. This is where the video is that you can watch throughout the course as well as here are some brief written explanations of the links that are to the left of your screen. These links are the main Blackboard menu that you're going to be referring to throughout the course to find information and you know help you get through this course. As a quick reminder, this is a five-week course and we are trying to take 15 weeks of information and condense it into five weeks. So it may appear very overwhelming to you at the start. That's why I'm hoping this video will help you to get through it all and take away some of that overwhelm. But please remember that I am available throughout this course via email, that's your best medium to contact me. And any questions, any concerns, or whatever, just please feel free to contact me at any time. And with this um, Start Here page, you can access your syllabus directly here through this link, but there's also a syllabus link to the left of the screen that you can also you know, access the syllabus. You want to download that and make sure that you keep that so that you understand the full requirements of the course. Everything is in there for you to understand what is expected of you. With regard to um, contact information, you can contact me via email. That is the best medium because I check it frequently and I respond very quickly. There are other links here if you're having problems, if you have technical problems, you can contact the Solution Center. I suggest you download Google Chrome because that is the best, uh, you know, uh, works the best with Blackboard as opposed to, let's say, Safari, for example. You have a, a link for announcements. This right now is empty because I have not created announcements, but throughout the course, I will use this tool to let you know of something that has come up or a reminder for maybe a quiz or whatever it is that I, I need to get something out to you quickly, I'll use the announcements tool. You will see it in your Blackboard. Uh, when you open up Blackboard, you'll see the announcement, but it will also come directly to your CCM email. Please remember, whenever you're reaching out to me via email, you must use CCM email as you, if you use your personal emails, there's too many filters that are set up that might block it and I'll never get it. CCM email, you can go directly through the website or you can access it right here through this link. So once you click on this link, you can email me directly. You can email other students in the class if you need to, um, but that tool is here under Academic Tools. Ask Your Instructor is a really cool tool for you guys to use throughout the, the semester. It's just a discussion forum, and all you would do is click on this link and you can post a question. If you have something that you're not sure of, maybe it's a question about a test, or maybe it's a question about the material you learned in the lecture, or whatever it is, you don't know when an assignment is due, post it there. I check it you know, every day, and I will respond. And if other students see it, you'll be helping them out as well. If you have a personal question, please just keep that via email so that nobody else can see it but myself. Frequently Asked Questions or FAQs is another link that's a great resource for you. It just has some questions, you know, what's the best way to contact you, what are learning modules, etc. And I'll continually keep posting questions that come up in this area as well. So it's another place for you to find answers. Moving on to course content, the first link is syllabus. And in that syllabus link, there, is a, there are a number of resources, obviously the syllabus, but there's also information about your text, which is a requirement for the course, and it's required that you get the fourth edition, which is the latest edition, and we use it for you know information regarding the lectures as well as quizzes, etc. The assignment expectations is a document that I've included that gives you detailed information about every assignment for the course. So if you read that, you should be clear on what's expected. 
grading policies just tells you pretty much how I break down the course with regard to assignments, discussions, quizzes, and how each one is weighted towards the total weight for the course. The academic calendar is CCM's calendar that lets you know just in general when courses start, when they end, when you can drop, etc. And the course content calendar is something that I created for this course and it's broken up into five weeks to let you know what chapters we're covering in each week, what are the learning outcomes you should expect, what are the assignments for that week, and what resources do you need to use to complete the, that assignment. This is found here, it's also in your syllabus, and it's also in learning modules, so it's very easy to find, and I will go through learning modules shortly because that is the bulk of this course. CCM policies, I'm not going to open up that link, but basically that just has the CCM mission and vision statement, it has our ADA policy, it has certain links if you're looking for math center or the uh, tutoring center or for, for writing center, all the different things that you know you might be interested in, uh, our copyright statement so you understand what we, how you know we, we set the policy for copywriting so that there's no plagiarism, etc. In supplemental resources, this link is something that I have for just things that are part, in addition to your textbook that I include that help with learning. For example, this one is all about meal planning. This one has to do with antioxidants and it has you know, a video and infographics for you to learn about antioxidants. So it just helps and might help you with some of your research for the discussion forums, or also for you know just planning your own meals and the information you need for yourself. So check that from time to time. I'll continually add some things there that I think are appropriate that I might find in my research and think, okay, hey, this might be something you're interested in. Uh, with regard to discussions, this is the discussion forum. All of the discussions for the course are listed here. They're not going to always look like this because you're only going to have access to certain ones. They're only open for a certain period of time. So they're open for the week that they're posted in. So if we're talking about week one, class introductions is going to be there. That's a discussion forum. So you can access that through this link or also through learning modules. I want to talk to you a little bit about the discussion. I'm going to spend some time on this. I know it's tedious and the video might be long, but it'll help you going forward with regard to discussions. First of all, I weigh discussions very heavily in this course. They are a big component of your overall grade. The reason is we don't get to meet face to face. So I want to be able to have conversations virtually and the discussion board allows us to do that. So every week, depending on whatever chapter we're working on, the discussions will correlate with that. And there'll be information that is in addition to what's in the lecture that kind of helps us bring everything all together. I respond to the, the discussions posts that you post. I read them all. I take them very seriously. What you have to say is very important to me and it also can help your peers learn as well. So really take the discussion board seriously. That is a big part of your, your grade for the course. How it works is each week you'll have a discussion and the discussion will open on Monday morning at 6 a.m. for that week. And you'll have the remainder of the week that, that that discussion forum will be open. At the end of the week, it will close, and that will be on Sunday evening at 11.59 p.m. So the weeks start Monday at 6 a.m. and Sunday at 11.59 p.m. When you post, when you, you're posting, you're going to do a primary post, which is your response to a discussion. That primary post is due by Wednesday evening of every week. You're going to also have secondary responses where you respond to your classmates' posts. You're required to respond to two classmates' posts. Now I'm going to open up one of these and I'm going to um, quickly switch to Professor View so that we can see this because right now it's not open for the students to see. So if I go into Class Introductions, and I'm walking you through this so you understand, you'll see the link for introductions and you'll see it's posted by me. Click on that link and here is the actual discussion. It says for this week's discussion each participant is required to introduce themselves. It gives you information of what I expect to be included in that discussion. When you're ready you hit reply and you will post your primary post. 
That's all by Wednesday evening. Then you're going to see other students' posts. You'll see my posts, and, and you'll have until Sunday evening to respond to two of your classmates. So let's say it's a post, uh, you know, and, and your classmate repost, you know, posts something, and you find what one of them is saying is interesting, you would respond to it, just like we would do in an ordinary discussion in the classroom. Somebody asks a question, somebody else responds to that question, you know, classmates you know, start putting their own suggestions or comments and, and it becomes a discussion. And that's what this is all about. The key is people always say, well, how long do my discussion responses have to be? You want to make sure that it there's a quality post. So if John posts something about himself and says, you know, I'm an exercise science major and I'm blah, 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 blah. And somebody else responds and says, oh, that that's nice, John. That's not a substantive response. You want a response that's clear and says, wow, John, it was really interesting finding out about how you're an exercise science major and what you want to do with your career going forward and how nutrition is going to help you do that. I feel the same way because I'm a nursing major and I know that this is going to help me when I'm, you know, teaching my patients how to have better nutrition. So you get the point when you're responding, don't just say, yeah, I agree with your, po your post. Make it more substantial, that it has more information, like a real discussion, the way you would actually talk to each other. So I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but this is something that students get bogged down with so much, and they don't understand how this discussion board really works. So I wanted to explain that to you. If you have more questions about that, feel free to contact me. I'm going to move on to um, the learning modules, which this is probably the most important link of the entire uh, Blackboard menu because this is where you're going to find all of your information. I have it broken down by week. So learning modules for week one, there's a learning module for week two, and further all the way down to week five. So each week a module is going to open. So week one will open in the first week of the course, then week two will open in the second week. Week one will remain open so that you can have access to the PowerPoints and supplemental materials for the course. However, any assignments or discussions or quizzes that were due in a week, they will not be open in the following week, meaning you must complete the assignments in the week that they're due. You can't go back into week one to complete an assignment three weeks later, but you can go back into week one to access PowerPoints if you want to study or use them as a tool for quizzes. So I hope that makes sense. So let's look in week one. We can see right now it's not available. It'll be available after June 25th when the class actually starts. But in the instructor view, it is available. So I'm going to show you that right now. So when you open up, it's going to look a little bit different than this because this is my view. Student view is going to be a little bit different. You're going to have a table of contents. Every week will always have this. This is part of that course calendar I was telling you about. It tells you the topics for the week, what the learning outcomes are, what assignments are. You can see you need to read chapters one to three and the PowerPoints for the chapters. There's discussions. There's also a nutrition journal that you have to do. And then these are your resources. You need your textbook. You need this learning module in week one to get through it all, the discussion board, etc. So as you are going through each thing, you'll see there's a, a, a nutrition letter which is kind of a welcome letter welcoming you, welcoming you to the course and giving you some brief instructions. There is a first chapter. The first chapter is just a basic uh, introduction to the course. It's basically just a PowerPoint and every chapter going forward is going to be a recorded lecture. Okay, so chapter one is just a, a PowerPoint. Chapter two is a PowerPoint with a recording. So it's me discussing things so that it's not just you reading it, but it's almost like listening to a lecture in a class. Because this is a five week course, we have a lot of chapters to cover in one week. So I tried to break it up so it's not too confusing. So chapter one, and then chapter one assignments, then you have chapter two, chapter two assignments, chapter three, chapter three assignments, so that you don't get confused. Do a chapter at a time. So you finish reading chapter one, go into chapter one assignments, and you will see that the uh, assignments are basically, there's just a class introduction, and you would click on that link, go to the forum board, and introduce yourself. If we go back 
uh, to the um, learning modules. We can go back into, my mouse is not working, here we go. Back into uh, learning modules, we'll see that there's chapter two and that chapter two assignments. If we click on chapter two assignments, in that folder you'll see there's a, dis a discussion and there's also the nutrition journal. The nutrition journal has three entries, one at the first week, one in the third week, and one in the fifth week, and there's an explanation of what you want to do, what you need to do. You would click on that and you can upload your assignment right in Blackboard. So everything is broken down week by week. All of your assignments are here. If you're wondering when the due dates are, they're due in that week. So if the module, module opens up on Monday morning, and you have until Sunday evening at the end of the week to complete everything. So I hope that makes sense to you, but everything is located in learning modules and it's located, it's broken down weekly. So when we get to week two, there are gonna be a whole different set of assignments and chapters. Week two, we're covering chapters um, four, five, and six. And again, this looks like a lot, and it is a lot because you're taking 15 weeks and condensing it into five. So if you're getting overwhelmed or you're, you're having questions, please feel free to contact me at any point. If we go over to the academic tools, you have my grades, that's where you can check your grades. I'm pretty good at uh, getting grades done as quickly as possible because I remember being a student and I, you know, I worked hard for my, my you know, assignment or test and I really wanted to know what my grade is. So I respect that and I try to get the grades to you as quickly as possible. Um, with the discussion grade, as I mentioned before, you're not going to see the discussion grades because I don't grade them weekly. It's a culmination of the whole semester and you'll see a final grade for discussions at the end of the course. If you're participating in your discussions regularly, then you will have no problem. If there is a problem with your discussions, I will reach out to you privately and let you know that the content isn't strong enough or you're not, you know, I haven't heard from you in a couple of you know, discussions, and I'll, I'll be on top of that to make sure you don't fall behind. You will see as we go through this course, I'm a very interactive online professor, and I want you to take advantage of that. It is very important to me to make sure that you are learning as efficiently as you can and getting the most out of the course. Never worry about contacting me day or night. I will always be available to you, and I want you to get the most out of this. So please you know, ask questions or whatever you need to help you get through the course, I'm here for you. Then the final thing, well, one of the final things is the calendar I wanted to draw your attention to under tools. This is good for you guys. If for you want to know briefly, well, what's due this week? We could see in, in you know, um, the course starts June 25th and we have an assignment due on July 1st at the end of the week. Um, not all the assignments are listed here, like the discussions don't come up here, but major assignments like the nutrition journal you'll find here. And it lets you know nutrition journal entry number one is due July 1st by 11.59 p.m. So it's a quick, quick reminder for you and a quick way to access it. If we go into July, we can see that there's a bunch of things that are due and you can just check them. It's just as a reminder to let you know what's due by a certain date. And again, if you don't use that, there's enough information uh, elsewhere to get you through the course. Support services, this is a great tool for you to use if you are trying to find out information about the, the help center or the math center, the writing center, there's different, uh, the distance education office is listed here. So a lot of different things for uh, student services that you, you need support with are gonna be in this link. Then there's also the Blackboard help. If you're unsure about something, there is this great tool called Blackboard help, and there's all kinds of information in here that you can read that helps you get through Blackboard in addition to this brief video. So you can click out of that, you're back to the course, and that's kind of it with regard to um, what I wanted to tell you about navigating the course. But again, as I said, it's a lot. I know this is a long video, but it's worth your time to you know, go through it and refer back to it throughout the course so that you can uh, really get the most out of the course. So I wish you a great semester. I hope you get everything you're hoping for from the nutrition course and any questions, comments, or concerns please email me and I'm looking forward to meeting you all at the start of the semester.